You know how we get told to go to school, find a job, earn money from that job until we realize that basically it's not enough? Or have you ever wondered how some people manage to actually do everything that they want to do, find the time and the money to do it? What I can say is that I've never been taught uh, the different type of income that I could tap into in order to create the life that I desire. But thanks to self-education and some great leaders that I'm following and I'm really looking up to, I've managed to learn the differences of incomes that are available for us and which one is most suitable for the lifestyle we want to create. So in this episode number 21, I'm going to share with you the three types of income that we all have access to and we have the choice whether or not we want to tap into those incomes. So if you're interested in knowing which income are they and how you can benefit from them, then stay tuned. Thierry Alexander here from ThierryVAlexander.com. I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create an online presence so you can get better, faster results in your business and create the lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new blog post and a video training for you to get some nuggets and hopefully implement them into your business. Additionally, I also create a new freebie each and every week that empowers you in your own way. So again, you can implement it in your business and create faster results for you to create the lifestyle that you love. Today, I want to share with you the three types of incomes that are available to every single one of us and how we can tap into them. And it then is up to you to decide which one is best for what it is that you're wanting to create in your life. There are multitude ways of earning money and as long as it is legal, then it's absolutely fine to take advantage from it. And I would actually highly recommend to do so. However, there are three types of incomes that exist and each way of making money falls into one of those categories. The crazy thing is that we've never been taught, anyhow I have never been taught at school, those three different ways of earning money. Well, actually one has been taught because that's the, the main one that every single one of us know how to generate income within our household. But the crazy thing is that even accountants barely know about those three different types of income. So what are those three different types of incomes you might ask, right? The first one is called linear income. The second one is called residual income. And the third one is called passive income. If you don't know anything about any of those incomes or what they mean or the particular jargon of them three, then I'm going to go through each and every single one of them. So let's start with linear income. This type of income is the most commonly known because every single one of us had to, at some point, go through that way of earning money. The earning of this income is uh, directly related to the amount of hours that you're spending working. For example, if you work 40 hours a week, then you'll get paid 40 hours. This is how you are earning money. The great, the positive point of linear income is that it is easy and rapid to get income from that way. 
The downfall though is, as I've mentioned, you are getting paid on the hours that you are working. So you work an hour, you get paid an hour. You work another hour, you get paid another hour. There's no leverage at all. If you don't work, you don't earn. That's the name of the game. So if you're sick or anything, then you don't earn either, which can be really difficult, especially when getting towards a certain age or if we have health issues, it might you know, create some tensions at times because obviously if we don't work, we don't earn. And if we don't earn, we can not pay for our health. We cannot pay for our food. We cannot pay for our bills, etc. Okay, so this is linear income, which you're most likely accustomed to. You at least know very well this type of income because most people are involved in that one or have been involved in this way of earning money at some point. The second type of income is residual income. That gets a little bit more exciting. It is very exciting because this sort of income allows you to scale a little bit uh, more of what you do and then you can gain more time back into your lifestyle to do the things that you love with the people that you love. This income is paid on an ongoing basis long after the initial work has been done. For example, if you have a product or a service that you're selling online and that people can purchase and repurchase over and over again without you being there physically and from anywhere in the world while you are maybe you know taking some holidays, spending some time with people that you enjoy or even while you're sleeping, then you see you are leveraging your time and that income is still coming in. That's called residual income. The positive side of this type of income is that you, after having you know, created a strong basis, you are basically in, an, you are in a place where you are creating a life by design for yourself. You can do whatever you want, you can travel more, you can do other things and still earning that money. What it's really important to remember, it's like anything else, it takes work to be built. So it's not something that you earn immediately most of the time. It's not like a job, you know, you go to work and you earn. Sometimes you spend in this type of income, which is residual, you spend more time building the strong basis initially without even earning much. But then when it starts to have momentum created, you start earning money and even more money than the, the amount of hours you are spending into working your business. And the final type of income that exists is passive income. The only way to have access to passive income in your life, if you wish to, is by acquiring assets. There are many different types of assets that exist, but the primary assets that people tend to put their hands on is cash assets, bonds assets, properties, which is the main one, which actually most people tend to think first in terms of asset is properties, buildings, equipments, inventory, precious metals, and art. These are the primary type of assets that people put their hands on to create a passive income. The great side of this income stream is that you create resources that you own and control for future economic value. That is absolutely amazing. The cons part of it though, is that it generally requires a large sum amount of money to be able to invest into those type of assets. That is the downfall of it. This is why so many people start with the, the linear income that is from jobs most of the time or freelancing. Then they go into residual income. So with the linear income, they invest into residual income or passive income. That's most of the time what happens. Some people would have a linear income, then go into residual income and then create assets or buy assets to create passive incomes. So these are the three type of incomes that we all have access to. Linear income, residual income, passive income. And remember, I've got your back. Each and every week, I do create a free giveaway for you to be empowered in your own way and to implement this in your business, 
in your lifestyle and to even share with people that you think might benefit from it. And this week, because we're talking about the three types of income, I did create a freebie, which is me sharing with you 15 ways that you can make money from. To have access to it, you just need to click the yellow button below this video. If you're on my YouTube channel, then you are somewhere around this video, there's the description box where in there you will have the link that will take you over back to my blog. And below this video, again, you will see the yellow button that you just need to click and you will be receiving the 15 ways to make money guide into your email box. Did you get value out of this training? I really hope that you did. And if you did, please feel free to share the love, spread the love, give this to your people. This is what it is for. You know, it is completely free. You can share with people and then you might just impact someone very positively. Question of the week. What would you do or create if you had all the money that you need to do so? Please share with me in the comment section, inspire me, tell me some of the nitty gritty stuff that you want to create in life and you might just giving me some ideas and also help other people to unlock their idea box. You never know who you can impact positively even by sharing your own personal imagination, your own personal goals, your own personal dreams. So feel free to share in the comment section what is it that you would do or create if you had all the money that you need in the world? Thank you for hopping on this week again. I'm grateful for your connection, grateful for your interaction. And this training video is a wrap. See you on the next episode.